Glaucoma steals the sight of millions of people every year. The Glaucoma Foundation is working to change that. As chairman of the board of the Glaucoma Foundation, I have been privileged to lead an organization of volunteers that is committed to our mission of improving the lives of glaucoma patients and their families by helping to discover better treatments and new paths to the protection of vision and even the reversal of blindness. My name is Jacori Dabo Hall and I was born with primary congenital glaucoma. It's really been such a great experience to be able to share my personal experience with others and be able to help in that regard. If I can inspire other people to, you know, chase their dreams, even with glaucoma and not let glaucoma bring them down, then I think that's great. glaucoma patients, I'm sure this is uh, uh, true for almost every one of us, is you think about how much time am I going to have the vision that I have. Everybody's got some issue in their life they have to deal with, and if you have glaucoma, it's probably your biggest issue. The disease is a blinding condition, which by and large is true. However, I also remind my patients that glaucoma is a treatable disease. I have been taking care of glaucoma patients for two decades, and I am very proud of the fact that, that I have stabilized many, many of my glaucoma patients so far in my career. Glaucoma had become a part of our lives. My father had it, my mother-in-law had it, and our habit had been to support organizations uh, that supported diseases that affected people we knew in a profound way. And so we started giving to the Glaucoma Foundation and in doing that we received a lot of material. The more material we received, the more interested we became because my husband then developed glaucoma. I'm involved in the Glaucoma Foundation because my grandfather was an eye doctor many, many, many years ago. And, you know, it's like coming full circle in terms of supporting now the younger people. He was a Jewish immigrant. He's, he established a business in eye care. And now these other immigrant children are establishing themselves as eye doctors and doing research. And I know that these young doctors are going to, through their research and our help at the Glaucoma Foundation, they're going to find the answer. My family are Mexican immigrants. They didn't finish high school, uh, but the, despite this, they really instilled uh, in me the uh, value of education and hard work. I did a double doctorate degree. I got an MD and a PhD. I was very fortunate to have many mentors uh, help me along the way. This fellowship uh, really means a lot to me. It's actually providing um, really critical funds to meaningful research. Glaucoma is relentless because of its double meaning. So on one hand, glaucoma is a relentless disease and we see everyday patients that continue to experience vision loss in a relentless way. But on the other side, we are also making relentless progress in our understanding of mechanisms that cause glaucoma and new ways to counter neurodegeneration in this disease. So in that sense, glaucoma research is making relentless progress towards a cure so many things that glaucoma patients experience that we could make better. Um, the number of appointments that they have, how we decide what their eye pressure should be, um, how could we get more measurements of their intraocular pressure without inconveniencing them, how could we take some of the burden off of them so they don't have to take medicines 365 days a year. These and many other things we have to work on. I would describe glaucoma as stoppable. In one word, 
stoppable. I'm an optimist. I believe that with proper diagnosis, proper treatment, and the advances that are being made today, with the help of the Glaucoma Foundation, we can stop this blinding disease. It's the leading cause of preventable blindness, and we're working to that end. <laughs>